it. Yo, what is going on everybody? Carnage back here again. And today I'm going to be doing my Marvel Legends 2020 action figure collection. So, before this video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to a very good friend of mine. His name is Hobo525Reviews. And I believe it was actually during the month of December, I believe, when I first met him. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, uh, he is like this close to a thousand subscribers he's about 30 something away i believe last time i checked so yeah please go check him out that is hobo 525 reviews on youtube and at hobo 525 official on instagram so please go check him out and yeah without any further ado let's get right into the okay so starting off uh we have the series one captain america he's just been kind of standing on my desk for a while because well he was one of the first figures i ever picked up so that's why he's here and along with him i also have the 3.75 inch cap because uh this one was actually my favorite one out of my three and three quarter inch figures so yeah and then we have a couple of uh funko pops of bojack horseman from uh, the netflix exclusive tv show <coughs> bojack horseman and then we have Todd Chavez, 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 something like that. Uh, and he was also part of that. And then in here we have like a couple miscellaneous things, a uh, portable charger and some endgame bobble heads. We have Thor, Rocket Raccoon. We have, uh, we have the Hulk. And then the one that I was really hoping for out of this entire set, uh, the Captain America. And then up here next to M&M's and some Reese's Pieces, I have a, another Thor, which I will be doing something with in the future, but haven't really had time to, you know, do a whole lot. And then going down and around, uh, we have, this is kind of what I use to uh, shoot my videos, just um, a little container for headphones, which were literally broke as soon as I got them, and the box for Todd. And then moving over to the left a little bit, we have the Gamerverse Iron Man, which is actually my favorite version of Iron Man. Like, I really love playing him in the game, he's a fun character. And then behind the Iron Man, I have just a uh, Superman mug with a book cover in it for some reason. And then moving over to the left, sorry about the lighting, uh, I just have like some newer comics I picked up, which will be in a new video. And then moving over, uh, these are just comics that uh, I need to get bag and bo uh, bagged and boarded. And then I, and also some I need to read. But anyway, uh, there's just, this is the pile I need to read. Uh, this is the DC stuff that I need to be put away. This is Deceased. Uh, these are like the newer miscellaneous Marvel books I have. Like Maestro, King in Black, Submariner. Uh, Marvel Zombies, which uh, will be getting its own section when I do uh, bag and board them. Marvel's X. And these are just like death metal, death metal tie-ins, stuff like that. And then going up onto the wall... Uh, this is actually the same poster I've had since I posted my first Marvel Legends collection. And so far, it's just been uh, holding up uh, Groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. And he's actually one of my favorite characters. And another one of my favorite characters was um, Barney Gumble. And these two are kind of my favorite ones. I got really into The Simpsons for a while, and I really wanted to collect these, but... Sadly, I did not. And speaking of Simpsons, going down to here, I have the uh, GameStop exclusive, I believe. Yeah, GameStop exclusive. Uh, Trios of Horror, Kang and Kodos. And these two are my f a couple more of my favorite characters, but I don't believe they make them in uh, the world of Springfield figures. So this will have to do for now until I'm, they uh, do something. And then right here, I have a custom-made uh, 
Homer head out of clay. I actually made this myself in about, I think like sixth grade, something like that. And then right here I have a giant letter E because my last name does start with a letter E. I'm not gonna say it on camera because, well, privacy. And then I have a speaker that I don't use and another speaker I don't really use, a portable charger, a pair of sunglasses and a pen. Also a uh, flashlight and a creeper, which I also made. I actually made this about two years ago in art class. So yeah. And then going over here, uh, this is something my sister uh, drew slash painted or whatever. Uh, she didn't have any room for it, so she's just keeping it in my room. But uh, I mean, she's a great artist in my opinion, so that's basically all I have to say. She's a great artist. Then down here I have just some like hard bags, paper bags, stuff like that of comics. Uh, and my favorite one out of all of these is still definitely like Damnation by Doctor Strange. This is a pretty good story in my opinion. It has the Ghost Rider Avengers. So I recommend you guys do check it out. And then going under the bed I have a couple of extra blankets and pillows and junk like that. There's actually uh, my childhood teddy bear, so he can just stay there. And then right here underneath of this body pillow, I have just basically all my comic collection. And I believe, like it goes alphabetically, I believe this one is just A to, mm, excuse me, I believe this one goes A to D, and this one goes from E to something else and then it goes to Iron Man and then this one uh, is like V and random so far if I remember correctly but yeah uh, oops sorry didn't want to show that quite yet then going on to my bed I have a few extra miscellaneous things Jason Voorhees Funko Pop the Giant Man Funko Pop uh, Saitama for, eh, from One Punch Man, the Marvel Studios 10 year anniversary of Iron Man, Stefan, who is played by Bill Hader, and Bill Hader was one of my favorite characters on Saturday Night Live. I was very sad when I found out he left Saturday Night Live, but I'm also happy he got to be in a lot of great movies that I enjoy. And then we have Deathstroke and Zoom from Arrowverse. And then we have The Flash from the Arrowverse TV show. And then we have Otto from The Simpsons. And then a couple little mini-mates of Daredevil and Ghost Rider. Then going up here, I have a couple more Funko Pops. I only picked this one up because it was my first ever chase. So I thought it was pretty cool. I know this one uh, isn't as expensive as some of the other ones I have. Then going over, I have the GameStop exclusive uh, Glow in the Dark Predator, and I got this out of a mystery box for like five, six bucks, something like that. I know it was on like very hard clearance. Then going over a little more, I have from the Birds of Prey Roman Sionis Chase, and what's different about him is he's in like a golden black outfit compared to the normal white outfit he wears. And then right. There, I have the narrator from Fight Club. I personally have not seen the movie, but I really thought this was a cool chase, mainly because he comes with a penguin, and I thought that was just the most adorable thing ever. Then going on to my bed, actually. Uh, these are just some figures I sadly do not have room for at the moment, but I have Electra from the SP slash slash DR wave. Some accessories from miscellaneous figures. Retro Wave Wolverine from the X-Men Wave. Um, I don't know which Wolverine this is, but uh, I know it was a GameStop exclusive. And then down here I have a couple like street-level heroes uh, with Misty Knight, who, not a terrible figure. They could have done her way better, but she... She's still not the worst figure. And then I have 
the All Father Wave Iron Fist. And then R.I.P. Jack uh, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, I have the Walmart exclusive Vibranium, uh, not Punisher, Black Panther. And then in here I have more figures with Weapon X from the Caliban Wave, Lady Deadpool, Punisher War Machine. Then I have a newer figure uh, in Sheikla and she was the first figure I found from this wave and I'm really excited I got to get her first because she came with uh, one of my favorite characters, Jeff the Land Shark. And then we have Black and Back in Black Deadpool. Then we have uh, an Iron Man from the Ironmonger Build-A-Figure Wave. We have Iron Man 2020. We have the Gamerverse Kamala Khan, who is basically the exact same as the other one. Just literally. I think she got new boots. I think that's the only thing new about her. And then I have the Unworthy Thor, who I still personally think is really cool. And then we have the, uh, what wave is it? The Red Onslaught Build-A-Figure wave, uh, Captain America. And this is the one that comes with the werewolf head. I do not remember where I put the werewolf head, but I'm pretty sure it's in one of these drawers right here. And going over here, we have just a couple miscellaneous figures, nothing really important, but there is the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure, and I still really think this Man-Thing is definitely one of my top favorite figures in my collection. Like, it stands out very well, and I really do enjoy it. Like, I mean, just with the head and everything, like, I love the character. He's very cool. And then moving over a little bit, we have, oh, we have the newer Rider's Wave Punisher. And I haven't really had time to, like, uh, pose him or anything. Like, I just put these guys up, like, about 15, 20 minutes before uh, I decided making this video. And then behind both of them, you can kind of see, like, uh, all more of my um, graphic novels and stuff like that like over here is a flash here's a couple of Hulk ones uh, Secret Empire Marvel Zombies it's like from this one to this one uh, we have Night of the Living Deadpool and Return of the Living Deadpool and then we have a Deadpool book Death of Wolver Death and Return of Wolverine and then the Deadpool um, kill, kill, uh, the Deadpool Kills trilogy, uh, I have all three of them, Deadpool Kill Illustrated, Deadpool Kills Deadpool, and Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, which is still one of the better ones in my opinion. And then, two more figures that, I know they released like an exclusive pack on, um, Amazon, and, which completed, like, the team, but I only have Red Guardian and Sasquatch. And this Sasquatch is still another figure I really love in my collection. I believe it uses the Man-Thing, like bits and pieces from Man-Thing. I could be mistaken about that, but I believe that some of those pieces are from that. And then up top, I have a couple more Funko Pops. Uh, and this is the Walmart exclusive Kryptonite Batman and Superman. And then... Behind that, we have, um, it's not the Series 4 Punisher like I thought. Uh, this is from, it's the Toy Biz Punisher that came in a four-pack with a white Electra, I believe. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but I think it's like, um, like, I think street-level heroes or something like that. I could be mistaken about that. And then we have a Marvel poster right behind it. And then right here, I just have, like, um, just some trading cards for DC. Uh, here's a, um, is this Wave Rider? Yeah, Wave Rider. Yep, and then kind of going up from there, uh, 
This is just a random phone case I found. And I just really thought it was funny. Because it says, three steak tacos with cheese. Uh, 420, blessed. And, uh, well, it was just funny for me when I found it at uh, my job. I worked at a um, junkyard that year, I believe. So I thought it was pretty funny. And then up here, I kind of have like a little... Asgard display. Here is the All Father Way of Odin. There's Odin himself, Malekith, and the Enchantress. And I don't have a whole lot of like Asgardian figures, so they're basically just it for now until I get like Loki and Beta Ray Bill. But they'll come at some point. I know they will. And then going down a little bit more. I have a Minton card, uh, what series is this again? Series... I don't remember what series this is, and I'm too lazy to, like, uh, look it up at the moment, and I don't see it on the box, so. Uh, this is the first appearance of Punisher and Spider-Man with Spider-Sense, and I got this in seventh grade when I got my gallbladder out, so thank you again to my, uh, stepfather's grandmother stepfather's mother i mean then going over a little more i have another chase figure and this is the mortal Kombat x scorpion chase and what makes it a chase is his head's on fire compared to it you know not being on fire going over a little more i have this like, it's one of those, like, um, holographic, scratchy, covered things, whatever it's called. And then I have an Age of Ultron poster. I really do think this Ultron looks better than the one in the movie. And also behind that uh, Scorpion, I have a Superman. And right next to him, I have a Deadpool poster as well. And then down to my Minton card Marvel figures. I have the Sasquatch Wave Deadpool. Or just Cable, I mean. And next to him, I have a mint on card Mysterio. And I basically picked these up uh, just in case anyone ever needed it, but no one ever did. And I know, like in my last video, I had a mint on card um, Beast and Gambit, I believe. But I gave those away to a friend of mine, Hero Force Studios. And then going down a little more, I have. Uh, basically just some extra accessories, Build-A-Figure parts in a bag. Here's some more parts in a bag. And then in here, I just have some Build-A-Figures I just need to complete. Like Caliban, I only need to get the, um... I don't remember what it's called, but I know it comes with the right arm. And he comes with, like, three alternate heads. Skullbuster. Yeah, uh, here's Red Guardian, Hulkbuster's in here, the Kree Sentry is in here, bits and pieces of Sauron, here's uh, the Strong Guy Arm, and then here's the Demogoblin, who I am very excited to get complete at some point. And then now on to the actual shelf. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I thought it was pretty funny. Let's all go to the lobby and get a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, I also found that uh, at my job at a junkyard. And then going down to the first shelf, I apologize about the lighting. But yeah, I have basically just my X-Men figures. There's the open cable I have who I got at Des Moines Comic Con for $40 compared to the one on my wall which I found for $20. There's a couple more X-Force figures with Deadpool and Domino. There's Cannonball in the back. Warlock, X-Man from the Sugar Man Build-A-Figure I believe. There's the Retrowave 
Cyclops and Iceman, along mm -hmm. with Boom Boom. And then, sorry about that noise. And then I have Blink from the Caliban Villa figure. She was the most recent one from the way I picked up. And then right up front, I have Warpath because I haven't really had time to put him in. X-23 in the back next to Deathlock. Old Man Logan. I didn't really know where to put him, so I just basically put him with, like, the X-Force characters. X-Force Wolverine, and there is Shatterstar. Moving over a little more to the left, I have the Sugar Man Wave slash Age of Apocalypse. Uh, there's Weapon X, Jean Grey, Dark Beast, Sugar Man way in the back, Sunfire, who I still think is one of the better ones from that wave, uh, Wild Child, and Morph. And the funny thing about uh, this wave, I found most of them for about $11. The only ones I paid full price for were X-Man, uh, Dark Beast, who was basically $5 off at the um, GameStop at my local mall, and Morph. And Morph was actually the one I wanted the most from the wave, just because I love how random he is. Then going a little more over to the left, I just have uh, basically my main X-Men. There's uh, Sunfire, Rogue. I believe she's getting a new retro figure. I believe it's already out, but I could be mistaken. There's the Juggernaut Wave Havoc, Deadpool. Still really, really love that Deadpool. Uh, Jubilee. First appearance Wolverine, Polaris, Forge, Wal Walmart, uh, Walgreens exclusive Namor, couple more figures from the Juggernaut Wave and Warlock Wave. Uh, there is the Storm. I I'm still amazed I found her. She was very hard to find. Uh, I'm also very amazed that I found two beasts too. Couple more figures from. Like, these two, if I remember correctly, were, like, peg warmers for the longest time at some stores. I actually found that Iceman on clearance for $11 on literally the 31st of December. And then, uh, X-Men Deadpool, and there's also Kitty Pride and Psylocke from the... Uh, apocalypse wave then going to the shelf above it I kind of have the toy biz figures just kind of shoved in a corner uh, and this is everyone who's ever had the title of Avenger so there's the thing Falcon War Machine on the left there and there's Wonder Man and the I'm considering that one the John Hammond version of the Human Torch, also known as the First Human Torch. I have Superior Spider-Man because he was also part of the Avengers <clears throat> at some point, even though uh, this Spider-Man and this one are basically the same character. Juggernaut Wave Wolverine, Punisher, who... Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, who is part of the Savage Avengers, along with Venom. And a couple others. Then moving over, we have a couple Dark Avengers back there. Uh, we have two movie characters that I do not have comic versions of. Uh, yeah, so uh, these two are just basically placeholders until I get like comic book versions. There's Doctor Voodoo. There's Hawkeye. There's the 80 Years Thor. There's Gwenpool, who I don't believe she was an Avenger. But I thought she looked pretty good with the Avengers, so. There's Blade, Nova, Shang-Chi, who is still a really cool one. There's the 80 Years Hulk, which I still love. Like, he's definitely the biggest figure on this shelf. Then, going over a little more, we have Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, uh, Captain Britain, Lady Jane Foster... Uh, 
Vision. Forgot the name for a minute. Then we have a couple other characters. Dark Knight over there. I really do hope he gets his debut in the movies at some point. There's Captain Marvel. Daredevil. Uh, Union Jack, I do not believe, has been a part of the Avengers, but again, like Gwenpool, I thought he looked very cool with them. There's Moon Knight. Shout out to Crescent Moon. There's Winter Soldier. He's a pretty cool one. I don't believe uh, this version of Spider-Woman has been part of the Avengers. Uh, but I think she has been at the same time. Not positive. Jessica Drew. Uh, Nika Minoru. Agent 13. I can't remember her name, but I know it's Agent 13. Nick Fury. There's Hercules. Deadpool. 80 Years Captain America. And the Black Panther Wave version of, um, what's his name? Iron Man. Still a pretty cool figure. Then going up onto this shelf, we have basically just all the uh, villains I have. So there's Living Laser, the Crimson Dynamo Bath, uh, Dormammu. Iron Skull, Whirlwind, Leader, Nuke, Blizzard, Eel. That crossbones, I still love him. Um, the big white guy in the back, uh, Windigo. There's a little bit of the uh, Serpent Society right there. Red Guardian. Both of my Taskmasters in the back. Batroc, the Leaper in the back. Spymaster. Dr. Doom, then it kind of goes to the um, Thunderbolts. I don't know if Paladin was ever part of the Thunderbolts, but I know, I think he was. I'm like 40% sure about that. Also, this Dr. Doom is still one of my favorite characters on this shelf. Then moving over, basically have the X-Men villains, Sabretooth, Omega, Omega Red, uh... Apocalypse Wave Magneto. Still really want the new one coming out. Uh, Mr. Sinister and Silver Samurai. And then up here uh, is the most crowded. And that is the Spider-Man shelf. Uh, sorry if you can't see all of them. There's Kraven. There's a Venom right there. There's the Retro Wave um, Green Goblin. Doc Ock. Typhoid Mary, Mysterio, Sandman, Shocker, uh, Vintage Wave Electro, the Classic Vulture, um, Prowler, Jack-O-Lantern, there's Scream, and two of my favorite characters on the shelf because this represents me and my friend Hobo, me being on the left, and Hobo being on the right. That it kind of goes like Spider-Verse in the middle, Peter Parker in the middle, because Peter Parker is the original Spider-Man, in my opinion. There's the black suit Spider-Man. There's first appearance Spider-Man, another black suit. Spider-Man Noir, big time Spider-Man in the back. Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, the one right below Ultimate Spider-Man right there is the... um. Retro Wave 1, Spider-Woman, Spider-Punk, and the character that started it all off for me for Marvel Legends, uh, Toxin, and then more random figures that I knew were Spider-Man based. There's the other Green Goblin, other Vulture, Lady Beetle, Poison, Speed Demon, and Bullseye right there. And then Toby right there. Kind of leads into like the ones I didn't have room for. Uh, so, oh, okay. Uh, so there's Scarlet Spider-Man, 2099. Going up a little bit, we get cosmic characters with tight Titus, and my favorite, the Galactus Builder figure. He's still one of the most badass ones. And then my favorite figure in the collection at the moment, Ghost Rider. 
Cosmic Ghost Rider, I mean. Then right there we have uh, the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure. I know Angela's part of like Asgard, but I consider her more of Guardian of the Galaxy. There's a couple more. And there is the Fantastic Four. And I was kind of trying to do like a Human Torch kind of flaming on type effect right there. Didn't work how I thought it would, but it still looks cool to me. So yeah, let me just take a step back. And this is just all the figures I have at one house. So uh, stick around and I will be showing you guys what I have at my dad's house. So stay tuned, and that'll come up in three, two, one. So anyway, here I am at my dad's house. It's a few hours later because I almost forgot to uh, <laughs> do it, if I'm fully honest. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, continuing on with my collection. Uh, here we have just my extra MCU figures. There is the Build-A-Figure Gladiator Hulk, uh, Gladiator Thor, uh, Black Panther from Civil War, R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman again. Uh, there is uh, Age of Ultron, Captain America, the uh, Quantum Suit, Black Widow, and Ant-Man. I know that is not the Black Widow head that came with that figure, but you'll see what happened to that in a minute. Uh, Age of Ultron, Iron Man, Avengers, Captain America... Doctor Strange, a couple more Captain Americas, Star-Lord, um, Civil War Iron Man, movie Black Widow, and both suits from Homecoming slash Civil War. And then going up a little bit, we have a big 12-inch Iron Man that does make noise, but I cannot, it can't at the moment because I do not know how to turn it on at the moment. And here's another holographic uh, poster. Forgot the word for a minute. And then up here, I have a couple of cool things. Uh, I actually got this from a friend of mine, oh, like two years ago at this point. I, like he said he would give it to me if I paid him enough, which I did pay him enough, 20 bucks. Uh, then I have a little Rick Sanchez. And then right here I have the Red Skull from the Mandroid Build-A-Figure Wave. Pretty cool figure. But he sucks at standing. And then another thing I have up here is a guitar pick from when I went to go see a band called Cheap Trick. And I do apologize if you guys hear something in the background that's just uh, the heater kicking in. And then up here, I have a couple Spider-Man posters. I have the Man of Steel poster. The poster definitely a little better than the movie. And I have some more up here. Oh, this one's kind of falling down. But anyway, uh, I have a poster of Bob Marley. A poster of Thor Ragnarok. And this is like not how the movie poster looks. This one's just like an alternate version of that and it keeps falling down and I should really 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 invest in getting like something else to put up there and I'm just not going to do anything with that anymore and then right here I have one for Infinity War pretty cool and then right there this one's a little ripped but this was a newspaper clipping from when the Avengers first came out in 2012 it's pretty cool and then right here I have a Captain America uh, poster that I got from FYE or FYE uh, Hobby Lobby I mean then going over here a little bit there is part of my Marvel Legends boxes junk like that uh, some stuffed animals that I've just had for a really long time dinosaur shark unicorn a little monkey and a Pokemon that I do not remember the name of here is a X-Men comic from Phoenix, and then a Captain America trade paperback. Going over a little more, uh, this is just a sports card thing that I found 
for like really cheap. I don't care about the cards in it. I'm just using it for like uh, the cards I showed you earlier in the video. Then right here I just have the uh, Vintage Wave Spider-Man uh, Spider um, like boxes. And down here I have even more boxes. Here is the Thor box, Cosmic Ghost Rider box, and behind that are a couple of two packs, like the uh, Scarlet Witch two pack, Guardians of the Galaxy Ego two pack, uh, Retro Wave uh, X Men figures, 80 Years Captain America. S sorry about the weird angle, just trying to put it back before I don't. Down here I have the 80 Years. Hulk and Wolverine box, uh, the, the entire uh, Fantastic Four box, boxes, I just keep the boxes just in case I ever, like, do want to sell the figures at any point. There is the only two figures I have from Captain Marvel, well, I mean, I do have one more, but those are the only two I could fit on. There is the box for Sheikla, and this is actually the coolest one I have. And here is the Spider-Man Craven 2-pack. Pretty cool. Again, I found this at my local Target underneath the shelves. And I was pretty excited about that. And then, just uh, Marvel Legends Blink. I have not had time to give her her own place. And then here are my Pops. Uh, I'm not going to go through them at the moment. Because, well, there's just way too many. I'm not going to go through. Mm, excuse me. I'm not going to go through. Then going up a little more, we just have an empty shelf with, like, some materials I'm building things for. Uh, a bag of accessories. Even more Marvel Legend boxes. And this is just X-Men figures. Like, and it goes back about, like, three or four, I believe. I believe one, two, three, four. It goes back five and it's across. And it, it's like a five by five plus you can fit four over here. So it can fit a good amount of like Marvel Legend boxes. Here's some more. And then up here I just have uh, more recent ones, I'm going to say. Like the uh, Game Reverse Abomination Wave and. The Joe Fix-It Wave, plus a couple more X-Men ones right behind that. And then going back over onto the little shelf, and over again, even more Marvel Legend boxes. And I do keep every single box of every single figure I have. Again, because if I ever, like, stop collecting and need money, uh, I can just sell them in the box, put the accessories back in, just... Do something like that, just in case. And then going down here, I have the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Electro, and Spider-Man. And these two are actually two of my first figures, so they've been... Actually, I think these were my first two movie figures ever. Yeah, they were, because uh, this was actually the first wave that came out when I started collecting. So, a little fun fact about me. Yeah, and these two were basically the only characters I had of each of these for the longest time until I caved in and then uh, right around here I have a couple of Funko Pops here is Freddie Mercury really cool I was really happy when I found him and then I have a coke can that just says a legend because both these two are some of my favorite musicians and then Kurt Cobain and this is the Hot Topic exclusive one um, I don't remember what music video this was for. I mean, it might say... I mean, someone might know. I'm not positive. But anyway. And... Oh, uh, it's a little dark here. Uh, hold on a minute and let me go get some light. Okay, there we go. Much better. And as you can see, this is basically like a, my end game shelf, as I'm going to call it. Where all the heroes are lined up and stuff. Uh, there's a couple that weren't in Endgame, like that Venom right there. Like, I consider Venom like an anti-hero, so I would consider him on this team. There is the Hugh Jackman Wolverine. 
Really wish we got to see him in the MCU. There's a couple more. Mr. Fantastic right next to Black Widow. A couple more. Yondu's in there because I feel like he would be on this team. He would be on this team. And a little more, we have the Cable. And that Cable is definitely one of the greatest figures that has come out this year, in my personal opinion. And then down here, I just have, like, the villains and stuff like that. Uh, so starting over here, I am pretty sure these two are going to be, like, part of the bad guys, because it seems like they usually release, like, at least one to two villains per wave. And I know Crossbones and Spymaster are both, like, bad guys of that wave, but I feel like one of these two is going to, like, betray... Um, Black Widow at some point. Then going over a little more. Sorry about the uh, shadow. But anyway, there is a uh, Vulture, Mysterio, uh, Carl Mordo in the back. There is also um, what's his name, Red Skull and Killmonger. And a little more over to the right, we have Taskmaster and um, uh, what's his name, Talos from the. Uh, the um, uh, Captain Marvel movie. And then we have Hela and Loki. I have one Loki on this shelf and the other one on the other one. And I specifically put the one with the horns on this shelf because, well, that one was the bad guy in uh, Thor Ragnarok for a little bit anyway until he turned good. And then the one that's just in full black I put up there because... He died trying to save his brother, so he's good. And then we have my Black Order in that corner. Uh, Ebony Ma, Proxima Midnight, Thanos, Call Obsidian, and uh, what's his name? Corvus Glaive. And then right down there are just two build -a figures that I do kind of want to replace like him with. Or a build -a figure I want to replace Thanos with, with at some point. And then we have the Gamer vs. Abomination, which I only need the Rage figure for, and then I have him fully complete. And I don't care what people say, this this guy is freaking cool. Like, I mean, compared to like a normal 6-inch figure, I mean. I mean, that's just mm, beautiful. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have for the video today, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed my collection tour. And I know it's going to be one of the longer videos I have on my channel. I do apologize for that. But yeah, uh, without any further ado, uh, thank you all for watching. And with that being said, my name is Carnage. And I will see all of you people in the next video. Peace.